goal was to construct a life-size robotic Jaguar that could emulate natural walking motion. The project was sponsored by the Robotics Club of IUPUI. We worked in parallel with the second senior design team, which was spearheaded by the Robotics Club president, Anna Glom. Generally, the frame had three sections, the rear, center, and front. The rear contained the drive system, the center contained the microcontroller and leg motion systems, and the front has an additional mechanical frame support. The power distributed throughout the system is supplied by a combination of 9-volt and rechargeable 12-volt batteries. The voltage was stepped down accordingly to a necessary component. The secret is that the leg motion doesn't provide the locomotion for the robot Jaguar. This allows the leg motors to focus solely on producing the realistic leg motion, allowing the legs to move forward and backward, as well as up and down. Now the drive system was controlled by two motor controllers, which routed the appropriate amount of power to the two motors. It was these motors in the rear that provided the actual locomotion for the entire Jaguar robot. Well, the control system is twofold. Firstly, the leg motion is controlled by two Arduinos and two Adafruit motor shields. Secondly, the drive motors are controlled by a third Arduino and two motor controllers. The communications network consists of a Zigbee network. This allows remote control functionality to all the motors. Power is provided from two batteries in the rear of the Jaguar. One battery powers the DC motors, which has an on-off switch located here, currently in the off position. The second battery provides power for leg motion. There's an on-off switch here, currently it is in the off position. That power is routed up to a buck converter, which steps down the voltage and is providing power not only for the legs, but for the Arduinos and shields that control the legs. A native fruit motor shield provides power and control to two steppers and two servo. Two DC motor speed controllers route the appropriate amount of power to each DC motor. A requirement was to provide a system that would receive a signal over a Zigbee network. The principle of how this operates is there's an Arduino on the base which has a Zigbee shield plugged into the Arduino. Finally, there's a Zigbee module plugged into the Zigbee shield. Future work consists of covering the Jaguar robot and upgrading the stepper motors to allow more efficient leg motor control.